Hey, how's it going? Today I'm gonna go over how to draw an Among Us crewmate with a flamingo hat. Uh, it's gonna be real simple, easy, and for beginners. So if you're a beginner, you should be able to get through this entire thing real easy. I'm gonna be using this, a Crayola brand marker, and paper-wise, this is gonna be computer printing paper. Super easy stuff. Uh, let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to draw kind of a diagonal line here, kind of straight, and that's gonna be the bottom of that flamingo hat, but I'm not actually gonna draw the flam flamingo hat quite yet. I'm gonna draw a straight line down for the front of the head, front of the crewmate's head, and now I'm gonna draw a straight line here for the top portion of the window visor of the, uh, of the, uh, you know, like the window he looks through or that person, or whoever looks through, curve down, curve down here, continue to curve. And so that right there looks like a pillow shape, this shape alone, if you're just see it abstractly. To me, it looks like a pillow uh, or some kind of like bloated triangle or rectangle. Um, also, if you like learning a little bit about art every single day, a little bit about drawing, uh, hit that subscribe button right now. Like right now, before you forget, hit that subscribe. Uh, so I'm gonna be posting three very simple and easy drawing lessons for beginners every single weekday. So it's Monday through Friday, three per day. That's gonna be 15 a week. Um, and it's gonna be on, uh, about every single topic under the sun. Um, so hit subscribe is completely free. There's no downside. It's not gonna overwhelm your feed by maybe you know, sending you a hundred videos. It's probably gonna let you know about every third video, I bet. Um, but yeah, as, if you find my work to be worth your time, uh, please consider subscribing. It really does help the algorithm here and uh, just helps in general for me and for you, you know, hopefully. Uh, so I'm gonna draw, continue that. I'm gonna imagine this line going down here, imagining it go through and it's gonna pull down all the way to the leg area. Pulling in for the foot. Starting here the back of the head. Pulling down here, all the way to the ground. It's gonna be the same as over here. And pulling in the other foot. Pulling up. Pulling in right here for the bottom of the body. And then I'm gonna connect the foot down here. Uh, also, if you're more hardcore about the drawing, go check out my uh, Skillshare. I have hour long uh, videos on lessons, uh, hour long lessons on like drawing the head, drawing manga, I mean anime, I mean. Uh, drawing, uh, you know, anatomy on every single body part. It's it's really cool. Go check that out if you want. If you're hardcore, uh, you know, into the like the drawing thing, uh, that's on Skillshare. The only catch is you have to actually look for it in the description. So it's somewhere in there. Uh, between here and here, I'm gonna think about it halfway in my mind's eye, and I'm gonna go back here, and that's where I'm gonna mark my backpack for the oxygen. Bottom of that body here. I'm gonna mark it around there. Okay, so now I'm gonna pull this and connect the backpack here. And to me, that shape alone looks like a loaf of bread. I always think about that, a loaf of bread. Um, it seems a lot easier. I like comparing things to simplified items because I find that you memorize it a lot easier. Like remember, memorize it when you have to draw it again. Um, I just, I always do that. I just think it seems a lot easier to do that. So I'm gonna pull around here, pull in. Pull around here, pull in. Pull up. Pull in a little bit more and I'm gonna pull up over here and I'm gonna pull over. It's kind of a simple shape like that that flamingo head. Let me pull it down a little bit more. 
down, kind of connecting that beak, pulling up here, splitting that mouth, and then right here. And I'm gonna put a dot right there for that flamingo head. Put a little bit lower here. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna thicken the line everywhere. This one everywhere because I want it to match the animation uh, from the game. And the game has extremely thick lines. So I'm just gonna see that just thicken up the line uh, everywhere. While I'm doing that, I'll talk to you about the page. Um, I've had this uh, YouTube channel for six years. Uh, I haven't, I basically this year I've updated it more than I've updated it in like ever because of all the craziness. I've been home a lot. Um, so yeah, it's been one of the most rewarding things ever. I think talking to people here is like literally the coolest thing ever. Just knowing that someone's out here watching and saying hi or saying nice things. Um, and just kind of me teaching and this drawing portion of it is this drawing portion to me is uh, literally just what I do on my free time. Like I literally just doodle stuff all the time on my free time. So this is just amazing for me. It's like a dream come true that I could do this for people. Um, there's only one thing about this, and I always say this in every video, there's only one thing I don't like about this whole process, and that is editing the video. I have to edit three videos every day, and I have to write the description for three videos. Those, that's pretty uh, exhausting for me. Um, that's, 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 that's why I'm exhausted every day, actually. <laughs> um, if you ever want to help out the channel, uh, there is one thing you can do that is bigger than anything you could ever do, and that is sharing the video. When you share the video anywhere, like Facebook, Tumblr, anywhere like that, uh, when you share it, uh, it basically brings this huge boost of positivity to the channel uh, from somewhere else. Like somebody on Tumblr will be over here, and then they'll 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 say something nice, and I'm like, wow, you know. And what that does is it just it makes my day. It just makes me in such a great mood. Um, and it makes all the, the editing I have to do afterward, all the writing I have to do in the description, it just makes all that worth it. And I'm just like, you know what? That's fine. So I love that. It's a great boost. It's good for the channel in general. Uh, but yeah, like it takes, it's very similar to like tipping your waiter for service, except um, there's no actual money, you know, you know, it's more, it's just your time that you're spending. Um, I guess it takes about a minute. I'm not sure. There's a share button at the bottom here on YouTube. Uh, I think you can share stuff automatically. Um, but yeah, that'd be really great. If not, I completely understand, you know, but I'm just saying if you did want to help out, it does make much, much bigger of a difference than you think. Um, and that's pretty much it. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. Uh, uh if you did get to this point, you got to the very end. Um, uh, please say hi in the comment section and I will know that you got to this point. Um, and that is it. I'll talk to you next time. This is Easy Pictures to Draw. Talk to you later.